My name is Miss Dawn. And I'm Miss Camila. And today we have a very special friend with us. His name is Pennington, but we call him Penn for short. Do you want to see if maybe he wants to come and join us? Yeah? All right. Penn! Oh, Penn! I found him. You did? I don't see him. I think he's, he's being... He's behind the book. He's behind the book. He's behind the book. Pennington he's has his nose stuck inside a good book. Does that ever happen to you? No. Yeah. No? Your nose never gets stuck inside a book? What about all the children at home? Do you ever get your nose stuck inside a book? No. no. Well, you know what that means? It means he's reading such a good story, he doesn't want to put it down. Maybe if we call his name all together on the count of three, you think he might put the book down? Um, Ready? Let's try. One, two, two three. three. Oh, okay. Well, isn't he being the stubborn little penguin? I'm sorry, Pen, but we are just the... <gasps> it's not Pen. That's not Pen. Where could he be? That's one of Penn's pals, but that's not Penn. Penn's pal, you get down here and you tell me where is our friend Penn? Will you tell me? Do you know where he is? Oh, he does? But Let's he's a, ask him. Penn's pal's a little shy. He's going to whisper to me where Penn is, okay? Are you ready? I'll tell you after. Okay. <gasps> Oh my goodness, Miss Camila, you will not believe this. Where is he? Penn is stuck on an airplane. <laughs> on an Can airplane? You know Why is Penn on an airplane? That's, 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 that's so, so silly. <laughs> Penn lives on a big island full of other penguins. He has so many people, so many penguins that he lives with, like his mom and his dad and his aunts and his uncles and his brothers and his sisters and his cousins and a grandma and a grandpa. And he was trying to say goodbye to all of them and give them penguin hugs as well as they can because their flippers just hang down here as well as they could give each other a high flipper five or a hug. And it made him miss his plane. Oh, silly Pen. But you know what? Pen's pal is with us. Just like you are all of Penn's pals. But and why Penn, is Penn stuck on an airplane? Because he was late saying goodbye to everybody at home. But he promises he will be back next time, okay? So Penn's pal, we are so glad you're with us. And we are going to put you in the seat of honor to watch all of us listen to our story. Mm -hmm. And Penn has many pals and after today you are all some of Penn's pals. So you can come and watch and you can join us every time. Penn also has some special friends called authors. Do you know what an author is? Uh, someone wrote I do. Someone Please raise me. your hand, okay? What's an author? Um, it's someone that wrote a book. Very That's good. Right. Did you know that at home that authors were people who write books? Mm -hmm. They like to put their words down on paper and their stories just come to life and we get to enjoy them and we grow to love them. Do you have a favorite story? What's your favorite story? Make way for ducklings. Oh, that's a good story. Who else has um, a favorite there's a story? Way to make way for ducklings, and they hatch. They do. On an island. That sounds like you've read that book a lot, Michael. Well, it's I know. <laughs> yes, Maya. Um, my favorite book is the Silly Gooses. The Silly Gooses. Very good. Well, we all have our favorite books. Yes, we do. And Not today. Me. We're going to read a very special book. My Do you know what book we're going to read? House Clubhouse. It's that the one. biggest And book. this book is written by Miss Dawn, and she would like to share it with us today. Okay. Are we ready to read the book? Sure. Okay. Can everybody follow me? Can you put your hands in your lap? Are ready? And sing with me. It's time to read a book. It is time to read a book. One. Two, three. Listen, listen. Shh, shh, 
Should we do it one more time for the children at home? Are you ready, boys and girls at home? Ready, Miss Camila? Yes, I am. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book. One, two, three. Listen, listen. Very good. Well, the book that I wrote, remember, if I wrote the book, I'm the author. author. Very good. It's called Auntie's House. And I'm going to read from my real book that's smaller. But Miss Camila is going to help me so that you can actually see the pictures while I read. And this book I wrote about my niece, Maya. How many of you have an auntie? Raise your hand if you have an auntie. Do you have an auntie? I have. You have a great auntie? And if you're a girl, you are your auntie's niece. And if you are a boy, you are your auntie's nephew. Well, I wrote this book because I spent lots of time with my great niece, Maya, and she's here today. Does she kind of look like the little girl in the front of the book? She's the little girl. She does. When she was three, that's what Maya looked like. And this was all about spending her day at Auntie's house. Right, Maya? Okay. Are we ready to listen? Yes. Are you ready at home, boys and girls? Let's go. Mommy is going to work today. I'm going to Auntie's house to play. Mommy drives me in her car. We go across town. It's not very far. Auntie greets me with a great big smile. She says, come in, child, and play for a while. I give Mommy a great big hug. Auntie and I go sit on the rug. I look all around, and I begin to frown. Why do you think she's frowning? Because she wants her mommy. You think she might want her mommy? That's a good answer. Amelia. I know. Um, I because there's want. toys, but she just doesn't know where they are, but her auntie knows where they are. Oh! There's no toys on the floor. No. If you went to Auntie's house and there were no toys, would you think that would be a very fun place to be? No. no. Oh, ready? I cry, where are the toys? Auntie says, oh my, what a noise. Please do not panic. Why, the toys are up in the Hi. Raise your hand. Boys and girls, you at home, raise your hand if you know what an attic is. Who knows what an attic is? It's at the top of the house. That's right. It's a room at the tippity top of some houses. Not every house has one, but in my house, there's a room at the tippity top of our house. And we have a magic staircase that we pull down from the ceiling, and it's a ladder. And we crawl up the ladder. And what do you think I put in my attic? Your old things. My old things. Very good. She says the toys are up in the attic. Oh, Auntie, I say, may we go up and see? Of course, little one. We'll have so much fun. So we walk up the stairs to the second floor. We both push open the attic door. Boxes are piled everywhere. But Auntie says, let's look in there. Does that look like a fun box? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I clap my hands. I jump for joy. I say, oh, Auntie, may I play with those toys? Of course, little one. Let's have some fun. So we go back down the stairs. Auntie and I sit on some chairs. I set up a little tea party, one cup for me and one for Auntie. Then what do you think happens? We pretend to sip our tea. Then I ask Auntie, will you go outside with me? Why do you think she wants to go outside? Because there's a playground. Because there's a playground outside. And swings. And swings. <laughs> and Auntie says, nah. Do you think Auntie said no? No. No. She says, of course, little one. Let's have some fun. So I run to the swing. It's my favorite thing. I swing way up high till my feet touch the sky. Then I climb up the ladder. 
And what do you think she does when she gets to the top? Goes to the slide. She slides down the slide. It looks like Shiohati gets tired. We go back inside. We build a really high tower with blocks. It falls over with a loud kerplop. That's the noise a kerplop makes. Can you do that? Ready? Kerplop. Good job. We push the train around the track, and then we eat a little snack. We rock together in Auntie's favorite chair. She reads to me the three little bears. Auntie reads one book and then another, because it's never fun just to have one. I start to wonder, where is my mother? Auntie says, Mommy will be back in a snap. snap. Can you do that? Who can snap their fingers? Back in a snap. snap. Good snappers. Auntie says, Mommy will be back in a snap. Oh now close your eyes. Take a little nap. Who likes to take a nap? I do. <laughs> my nap is over. I open my eyes. Guess who's there? Guess no who's surprise. there? It's no surprise. Who's that? Who's that? Mom. Mommy. It's mommy, you know. Now it's time to go. May I come again? I ask with a grin. What's a grin? A it's a smiley face. A little smile. Of course, little one. We'll have so much fun. fun. I think you've read this book before, Maya. I think so. <laughs> you are great listeners. And what Auntie likes to do, or what Miss Dawn likes to do, we're going to let Penn's pal finish reading, is I like to play a game when I go to schools or I go to nursery schools and tell my story. So would you like to play the game with me? Yes. It's a guessing game, OK? Mm -hmm. I hope you were listening and watching the pictures. But Miss Camila is going to help you by holding up my picture. And do you think there is a box in this room right here? Boys and girls at home, can you see a box that right looks here. just right like here. this? <gasps> this? There it is. Very good guessing. And Did I, you guess too at home? Did and, you guess? And this is to there's toys in here. <gasps> this is Auntie's toy box, right, Maya? Uh -huh. It is. And inside. Oh I want you to guess one by one, and you have to raise your hand. Don't shout it out, because the boys and girls at home, I want you to play too, OK? So who can guess what might be inside Auntie's toy box? First, I'm going to ask the boys and girls and see if they know. OK, are you ready, boys and girls? Guess one thing. <gasps> I think you might be right. What about here in the studio? Do you guess what might be in there? Yes. One a thing. <gasps> a snake. Do you think I would bring a real snake? No. no. Pretend no. one. I'll pretend one. Now, it's really hard when I open a toy box to keep your hands to your lap, but we got to do it. No peeking. Because the boys, no peeking. <laughs> the boys and girls have to play at home. I think. <gasps> a teddy bear and two. Do you think? <gasps> do you think? I think that Auntie has a snake. Is this a real snake? No. no. It's a real snake. It is. Do you want to touch my snake? You want to touch that? It's really soft. Touch it. There we go. Okay. You got your thinking caps on back home. Okay. What would be one more thing? that auntie might have in this toy box if you look at this picture. How about a teddy bear? Remember, we hand. raise our hand. The boys and girls at home, I want to hear your guess loud, OK? <gasps> they are so smart at home, they guess what's the next thing. Do you think one of you can guess? Gabe, what, it's, what do you think might be in auntie's toy box? Uh, a teddy bear. Uh, a book. That is a great guess because what do pens pals do? They write and read books. I think I have one. Now I bet you know these books. Who writes these books? Green Eggs and Ham. I know that book. I know that book. Go dog, go. I know that book too. And what about this one? Do you know this one? I know that one. These are 
some of our favorite books. And this was my favorite book when I was a little girl, and I just had to bring it. It's a really old book. It's called The Golden Egg Book, and I just love, love, love the pictures. But that's all we're going to show about that. And we're going to put those back. I have a guess so, what's in there. What else would Auntie have? Okay, ready? We're going to give every, you are such good guessers, you boys and girls at home. One more guess. What else could be in my toy box? Michael, what else do you think would um, be in my toy box? A teddy bear. <gasps> do you think teddy there's a teddy bear in my box? Yeah. yeah. Boys and girls at home, do you think there's a teddy bear in my box? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's shy. There is a teddy bear. He's just hiding his little face. He's going to wave hello. Say hi. hello. Can you say hello? Okay, one more thing. <gasps> Boys and girls at home, are you ready? You got everyone right so far. Okay, I'm going to listen. I don't know about this one. Let's see if maybe you boys and girls right here. Maya, one more thing. Just one. Um, a bar? Oh. Hmm. I don't have a bar. But there's one over there. There is one in hers. I don't have everything in my toy box that she has. It would be so overflowing. I wouldn't be able to carry it. Abigail, you want to take a guess? Mm -hmm. How about a toy giraffe? <gasps> a giraffe? I don't have a giraffe in my toy box. Auntie has many more yeah. toys than I Gabe, you want to take another guess? Um, a <gasps> That's a good guess. I didn't bring that either. How about if we look at... Where's the one with the slide? Yeah, we can look at that one. Teapots. <gasps> Do you think teapots would be in here? Yeah. And little teacups, let me see. I think. Hey, does that sound like teapots? Yes. Yeah. It yeah. does? Yeah. It sounds like tin cans. <gasps> there is a teapot. What do you do with a teapot and teacups? You drink tea and put tea in it. You have a little tea party. party. Okay, I think we're going to be ready for one last guess. And you. A bunny rabbit. <gasps> a bunny. Do you think there's a bunny rabbit? Yes. See, James. Hello, hello, hello. James, you are really sharp. Here is my favorite bunny. Would you like to hold bunny? Good Say guessing. Good guessing, boys and girls at home. And that is the end of my story, Auntie's House. Oh, very good. Can we Would say thank you? Yeah. We're not going to go yet. I want to know. Do you have any questions for Miss Dawn about the book? How long did it take to write the book? Oh, that's a very oh, that's a question. really good question. I wrote the poem that the book started with um, in one day. But then when you write something, you send it off to an, it's a person called an editor. And they look at the book and they say, it needs more or it needs less. So it probably took me another month to write the whole book the way that you see it now. I have a question. Sure. Miss Dawn, what inspired you to write this story? It's such a cute story. Well, I was telling you before that Maya is my great niece and we spent lots of time together. And I thought, how can I make Maya feel welcome in my house? So I went up to my attic and I pulled out some toys that I had stored away, because someone guessed here before, old stuff goes up in your attic. And I had saved some old toys. Wow, very good. Does anybody else have any other questions? Abigail? Uh, why don't you leave some toys downstairs? In my house now, since Maya has come to my house as a little girl, I haven't put them back. I still have toys in my house. Well, that's very special. Do we have any other questions? Edda? I thought there was a dress-up clothes. <gasps> you thought there might be dress-up clothes in there? At my real house? Boys and girls, 
On my website, you will be able to download a craft that goes with this book. And it's just simply Auntie's Toy Box. When you go to my website, you click on Kids Pages, and you will see a copy of coloring book pages that look like this. And this is a little craft project you can do at home. This is Auntie's Toy Box, and these are some of Auntie's toys. What you will need is a printer, so your mom and dad will have to print that. You will need a box of markers, or you can take out the handy dandy, all reliable crayons from your big box of crayons. Doesn't matter what color, I just brought a few. And some glue. And, and if you are old enough to use scissors, I brought children's scissors, you have to ask the grown up in your house to use them. Or if you don't know how to cut, then mommy can cut it or daddy can cut it for you. So this is how we are going to make our toy box. Oh, and we need maybe a piece of construction paper. You don't have to have one, but I used one. The first thing we do is we cut out our toy box. Just like this. Oh. Be careful, be careful. Ooh, be careful with scissors too. What are we supposed to do with scissors? Cut with paper. Cut only paper, right? Don't cut your And when paper. we carry scissors, how do we carry them? Like, like this. Like this. Points in your hand, right? Okay, so when you get your toy box all cut out, you can take your marker or your crayon and you can color it in. I'm just going to start it so you can see what we do. And just color, 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 nice until it's all filled in. Okay? I hear that oh, you hear those cars inside. And if you'd like, you can take your glue and you dab a little glue on your paper. Do you need to put a lot of glue or just a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because what happens if you put a lot? It will, go, it will get on your fingers and you could get stuck. Yep. <laughs> your fingers would be stuck. And it or, could also lift the paper. Or if you touch anything after that. Right. So then we just glue our paper down like this. Okay? And so we are going to cut out an orange teddy bear. You have an orange teddy bear? I have a huge Do you have a question? I have a huge orange one that's one of A red teddy bear. A, a white one. A white one. Okay, guys. I have a brown one. You have a brown one? Okay, so we're going to cut carefully on the lines. Can you see how I do that? I can't cut that careful. Well, you can have an adult help you. That's and then we can color in our teddy bear because he's the easiest one to do. Okay, and then what do you think we're going to do with our teddy bear? What was the color of the teddy bear in Auntie's toy box? Who remembers? Brown. Brown. So that's why I colored mine brown. But you can make a blue teddy bear, or a black teddy bear. Or purple. Or purple. Or pink. Or pink. Or, pink. or, yellow. Yeah. or red. Or yellow. Or green. Or orange. Do you think there's such a thing as a red teddy bear? I don't like. I don't no. like. Or a green one. I don't like. Um, or an orange one. Or an orange one. Glue. We're going to put on a lot of glue or a little glue. A little. A little, a little bit of glue right here on the back. Like this, just little dabs. Mm -hmm. A little dab will do ya. Yeah. Hmm? And then what do you think we should do with our teddy bear? Glue it on. Should I glue it here? No. Should I glue it here? No. Should I glue it here? No. Glue it here? Yes. Oh, yes. Is that called inside my toy box? Yes. Inside. Okay, what one should we do next? The brown rabbit. The bunny rabbit? Yes. We are going to make it's our rabbit a, <gasps> a yellow a brown spot. Okay. Because it, it, it is yellow. So we are yellow. going to take our yellow crayon. Wow, those trucks are noisy inside my toy yep, box. He's yellow. How are you doing it off? I can't. The truck 
You hear it in the toy box? Yeah. I hear it too. Um, I hear it. Not only my kids hear it. There is a teddy bear trying to get on TV. Okay, we're ready to cut out. We're ready to cut out our yellow rabbit. You guys are being so patient. How about you at home? Are you being patient? Yes. Very good. Can somebody tell me what it means to be patient? Amelia. You have to be quiet. Right. <laughs> and wait. Time. Right. And wait. And I remember a teacher once said, being yeah. patient means quiet waiting. Time. When it's morning, our mom needs, uh, we, people need to wait for our mommy. Right. Being patient means waiting with a smile. How do you wait with a smile? Very <laughs> good. You guys are excellent. Okay, we have a yellow bunny. What should we do with it? Glue it on. 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 So glad that you were here with us today. Uh, if you would like to come and join our show, and a member again of our live studio audience. Thanks for visiting Penn's, Penn's Pals. Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Can we say goodbye to all the kids at home. Bye, goodbye. boys and girls. When you were at Auntie's house? You can ask your mom and dad if they let you to go on Facebook to Penn's Pals and you will see Penn on Facebook and say hello to us. Officially Penn's Pals. We are going to try to have a different author come every month and you can read different books so it's every month is going to be a different author